Hey guys, here for another Allen Airsoft Tech Talk. Today we are going over another really cool and interesting gun that um, Japan has brought us. This is the Calico uh, M1000. Uh, two companies made this back in the 90s. It was MGC and Toy Tech. Um, this is the MGC model. We don't carry the Toy Techs and probably never will. Um, and bring, that brings me to it. If you want one of these, check out our website. Um, we do stock them often, as well as um, upgrades. There's more in-depth review on the website. Um, basically, everything, if you want to know more about these, is um, in the description. So, Calico and 1000s are some swag guns. I love them. Uh, you get some really funny looks when you bring one out. But they are the epitome of weird American ideas. So we'll stick with the one that's in the better condition. This one still needs cleaned up. This That one is in mint condition. So the Calico M1000 was a bullpup, top-fed, helical magazine, 22LR American pistol, rifle. They came in a couple different models. So, starting from the front, you have a very odd muzzle break and an M16-ish-esque style handguard. You have your front sight. You have your rear sight. Um, you have your trigger. Safety switch. Your gas um, fills from the bottom right here. I find the grip very comfortable. It's a very slim profile replica. Um, then you have your folding stock. Which to release, you just push this here lever in, swings out, push up, push down. Now you have a fairly awkward to shoulder rifle. Um, still usable, fair soft. The range on these is actually really good for not having a hop up. These are some really fun guns to use, especially outdoors. Um, so, as I mentioned, this is a helical fed rifle um, in the real steel world. In Airsoft, of course, we use BBs, which brings me to the magazine in this. This is fed from a gravity-fed hopper, but not in the traditional crappy beginner AEG way. This was thought out to be a reliable feeding system. And I don't know if you guys can see it, probably not, but yeah, you guys can't see that. There is actually a conveyor belt that sits inside of here. And when you pull the trigger, that conveyor belt moves. So that carries BBs from your 1,000 round reservoir into your um, firing chamber where it's fired. This this firing system is incredibly reliable. Uh, I very rarely have misfeeds. Um, I've never had a broken one of these. Um, they just work. It's um, a very well thought out design. Their uh, plastic on them is actually really solid considering their age. Um, no creaks like modern day Maru's. Uh, you do have a couple metal parts. You have your metal sling loops, your trigger, your safeties. Your stock is full metal. Besides that though, um, the rest is unfortunately plastic. Um, and there are not any kits for them. They weren't made to be that modular. Like the whole receiver is one bit. Um, so unfortunately there isn't a ton you can do modularity wise. But, um... That shouldn't discourage you from picking one up if you are looking at one. Uh, they're fairly cheap rifles. You want to get into something odd or classic or rare. Um, these do fit all of those categories. So um, it's really this system. There isn't a ton to it. Um, but the stuff that is there is very well thought out, very well designed, and very wacky. I love the Calicos, and that's kind of it for them. So um, toodles.